make fun of Kamala, make fun of Biden, make fun of Trump. Uh, like, that's all legit. Just don't be like, unless you support Trump, which is your right. I don't, you know, I don't give a I don't think you do. But if you didn't, don't support Trump if you don't support him. If you do, you can. That's fine. And uh, no one's going to stop you from doing that. Just know that wasn't like uh, an accident or like, oh, hey, this is a meme like Trump's there. Like this was set up so that Trump could get more votes. Oh, yeah, 100%. People said you were mad about the Trump thing. That's. Uh, I mean, I obviously I think Trump has uh, <laughs> tried to coup the U.S. government and I f hate Trump. Um, yeah, that's my position. Uh, if I was okay. a political, as a political commentator person, I don't think I would ever give him any airtime. Uh, Dan really wanted me to condemn your support of him in meme videos. Support them. For support. Support as in what? Uh, taking meme pictures with him or whatever and all that shit. Is that supporting though? Um, I think probably the audience sees it as based. Yeah, no, hold on. Hold on. Let's say some people has a picture with uh, a, a big person celebrity that's, bad, that's a bad person. Is that support? Um, no, I made this exact same argument to Dan. I said I would probably like if I had a chance to get a picture with Hitler, I'd definitely take it. But I probably wouldn't be wearing like a make the third right great again hat while I'm in the audience. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> the, okay. The, these pictures were like um, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That one picture was a leak out of some guy like doing like some behind the scenes photos. That was I was in. That doesn't really count. Free, Steve was the guy who was defending you. I was going on off, going off on you. Well, hold on, no, no, careful. I was not defending XQC. I said I didn't you, give a. You were. You I were said sleeping. I didn't give a f about it because he's not a political commentator. That's what I said. Okay. I, mean, I said I would take a picture. Going too hard. What? But, yeah. I said we weren't going too hard either way. Sure. I just said, uh, yeah. I said if you're not a political commentator, I don't care that much. Most people don't have as extreme views on Trump as I do. Uh, but if I was there, obviously, I, I if somebody offered like, hey, Donald Trump is outside, do you want to get a picture with him? I'm always saying yes to that. It's a former president of the United States. Obviously, I would do it. I just wouldn't be wearing a MAGA hat behind the scenes or whatever while doing it. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, my... that seems it implies more support, basically. Oh, okay, yeah, it implies more support. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I guess I have a better line of defense of like um, not being very political person or whatever and just kind of playing the part. I feel like playing the part is never really a problem, but when it comes to the politics, people think that like, playing the part is a lot worse, uh, which is, I guess, I guess, fair. So it looks like you're doing a statement or whatever, right? But I think, I think as you're making a statement and you take a stance where you're looking at make, you're making a statement is a, is a, is big, it's different. Let me, let me ask you this, X. Do you, um, are you familiar with the statement that Trump made where he said pretty much exactly we have to ban all Muslims coming into the country. Are you familiar with that statement? Jesus. No. You don't? Oh, okay. He said, it, I think Steve could collaborate or corroborate. He said exactly that. It's not like I'm paraphrasing. All right, well, I absolutely do not condone uh, any of those uh, statements, and I just don't stand for that at all. So you think that there's probably like a bunch of stuff that he said that's like super fucked up. Like, don't get me wrong. Democrats say like fucking retarded crazy shit all the time as well like uh, understood yeah yeah yeah. but but trump is kind of a little bit next level with some of the fucked up like shit he says yeah understood yeah um so like the logic is if you were muslim and you had the president of the united states saying i want to ban all muslims from coming into the united states you would be like this guy is going to be like a Hitler for us <laughs> like he's he's trying to stop all of our people from coming into the country he, this guy is wild and then the issue becomes more like how how poggers or based is it to do anything at all with a dude like that right it's not like don't get me wrong that, every, yeah, every candidate has like up shit but like for him it's kind of next level right like is is it next level I think it's next level, yeah. For, for that. I, okay, I don't think you're going to catch Kamala. I'm not, I'm, I'm not that, excusing like any behavior because I, I, I don't have. I, I don't. Have this I'm specific. not. I'm not shaming you. We're no, still no, 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 no. So, so, so I, I don't. I don't. I don't have the, the specifics or 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 time time whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. Um. Let's say current day compared to when that was. Is that still in, in the zone where you're supporting that or you're uh, uh, for that or for like? Like this in general, right? Because you're standing next to somebody who just said that he would take a picture with Hitler. Uh, I doesn't just said that, right? Well, I, I look at it this way, right? Was every policy that Trump had bad? The answer is no. There's a, there's some really good shit that he's done that like Destiny doesn't even know about himself. Like things like opportunity zones, which are 
amazing things that help uh, underprivileged people uh, basically get their communities revitalized. So it's not all bad with him, but you could say the same thing about Hitler. Like Hitler was trying to turn around their, the economy and everything along those lines. Like they're not all bad. And um, you, you can't just be like, hey, listen, this isn't the only thing he did, but you have to look at it kind of as a whole like is that one thing bad enough that like being around this dude is kind of oh, you know what i mean it's, oh, it's like, okay yeah, yeah. I, I tried to approach it more as a uh, a flat out label of like a person not a, not a political being is kind of like my approach right it's why yeah. it's why it's why initially they had a seat for me in the crowd i didn't partake in that um they had like signs and hats for people being injured i didn't partake in that i want to be behind the camera right and I ended up doing a setup for the stream. Uh, the stream had a lot of problems uh, uh, beforehand. Uh, some things were like really bad. I just did production. And then as, as we were uh, uh, doing a stream, right? I did production because I thought it was fun. I thought it'd be a good experience. And to work with Secret Service or whatever, I thought it'd be like a fun and cool experience. And actually it, it really was, that shit was insane. Um, and then uh, people were really like, like thankful and they were not talking to me. No, I, know, I know, but you have to- but it was cool, if, right? But yeah, I know imagine, but after, imagine this, why did, why did Trump want you and Aiden there, right? Because this wasn't like Trump's on the street and you're catching a quick photo and then you're leaving and your audience isn't getting like any, like, I don't want to say mixed signals or anything along those lines, but like, mm. why did why did Trump, why did he do this? Why was this organized, this whole thing? What was what was in it for Trump? Um, yeah, I mean, and some form of exposure and connection to the youth and some sort of, uh, 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 it's like, a, it's like a, uh, signal boosting his uh, his political standing. Basically, yeah. I mean, that's what it is. Like he it's called felt, signal boosting. Yeah, he, he felt like if I get if I go and I do this stream with XQC and Aiden, like some percentage of their audiences that didn't like me before and be like, oh shit, like XQC likes Trump now. I'm voting for him. I don't. I don't give a shit. I love XQC. If he said to jump off a bridge, I'd do that too. Um, like, there's probably you know, some portion of your audience that doesn't know, like, hey, uh, you know, this was just for the memes. I don't, I don't, I don't like Trump. Like, there's some portion of your audience that yeah. doesn't, that's not going to see that. And they're going to be like, oh, yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to vote for Trump. Like, he seems pretty cool. XUC made him seem funny. You yeah. I mean? So, so, that makes, so that, that, that's a problem that we have inherently with humans, right? And finding people and uh, things likable, right? Because sometimes you shouldn't like somebody they do, but, but because they're charming and they think that they're likable, you kind of like them, right? And you you don't want that, right? But it happens. That's yeah, gonna that's yeah. gonna that's gonna how we get a lot of people. Because believe it or not, maybe, maybe people are getting mad at me for saying this, right? But Trump is likable. He's super charismatic, but some of the yeah. most vile, dangerous yeah, yeah. people in the world are super charismatic. That's how they get to where they are. They don't like, you know, if you're just like a brutal asshole dictator, like you typically don't get to be a brutal dictator. You have to be like good with people, kind of a sociopath. Um, you know, you have to pander to at least more than half of the population and they have to feel like, yeah, this guy's fucking awesome. So, you yeah, know, that, that's all. I mean, it, what's done is done. I would just say like, you know, maybe make your views known, I guess. that That's a way well, that you can undo no. a lot of, I don't want to say any damage because you don't owe anything to anyone. But like, if you don't, if you don't support the dude, if you think he's fucked up, you should say so. I mean, I know you're not political, fair enough, fair and you enough. don't want to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I have two graphs for you. I'm gonna draw. Two, yeah, I'm gonna draw two graphs. All right. I'm gonna draw two graphs, and okay. I feel like you should, you should look at it. Okay. So, so, um, you know, like me as what I do on a general basis, on a day, on a, on the stream, right? Yeah. Um, I try to cover right, like some some sort of like news I found interesting or fun or whatever. Sometimes yeah, right. it gets political, right? Mm -hmm. When it comes down to like um, political sides, like even today I watched a 12 minute video on who is Kamala Harris, whatever, right? I didn't really say much about uh, against her. Most of the things were for her, right? People, is that what it is for most of the time? When it comes down to downright politics, whatever, I intake as much as I can. I look at it, I don't really give a f right? So it's pretty much like um, most of my actions are pretty, I think, politically uh, fair, right? And it, And then sometimes it's like, so it's like most of it is good, right? And then things are get kind of bad when it's kind of like, um, oh, here's a Trump meme, that's funny. Or here's, or here's a Biden meme that makes him look bad, that's funny. But it's kind of bad because I'm, it looks like I'm endorsing Trump, whatever, because his meme was funny and Biden's meme was funny, but in a better way that makes him look bad, right? So that's like a part, I, I'd say, that's like a bad kind of thing I could, I could do better on, right? But I still think that I'm in a zone where most things I do are unbiased and decent 
and that part is gonna eh, and I, could, I guess i could, I, I, could I, I, I think that's totally fine like for instance yeah making fun of biden being like a senior citizen like we literally did that all the time like one of the funniest memes is one that one of the people in our community did where like biden is like sleeping and it's like oh, i'm on your case mr president or whatever shit like that like that it doesn't matter the thing is like yeah it, so it's right now it's very one way on the other side right like you've pretty not and you know i don't know what you can do to change it i don't even know if you want to change it or anything along those lines but you've pretty much much more aggressively now I don't want to say promoted one candidate, but yeah, basically you've promoted a candidate. E even though it was just a meme, it wasn't your idea. Someone reached out to you. It's like, yo, X, you want to hang out with Trump? Like, who the f wouldn't say, yeah, f that sounds f crazy. Let's do that. Sh but now it's like, you know, it's yeah, segwayed so, in one direction. Yeah. So uh, this is where I had, I'm, sometimes I'm, I'm short-sighted. I'm not using it as a defense, right? But I look at the world in my lens and not, not a political commentator lens or somebody who's with a political being his lenses, right? So I think pictures with like a but uh, uh, everybody that's famous, I'll take a picture for them, right? So sure. I think when I get to let me take a picture with, with uh, 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 let's say with him, whatever, right? So most of it is right. First area of, of, of my grab is oh, what is the thinking behind it? Taking a picture with somebody. This person's like famous, right? Other parts, what's, what's the part? Uh, um, ex president partners. One part, he has a lot of funny memes that I think are funny. Boom, that, right? And. The part that, it, that I get, it, I guess it's bad. Like, is is this one? You know, right? you know actually, I could do I could do this in a different way for you because it's sure, a bit more extreme. You'll you'll get it right away. Do you? Would you take a picture with um, uh, Jeffrey Epstein if he was still alive? Okay, so I think we can agree, right? That that's not a thing that kind of really equates. No, I, I I agree. I'm using it as a, a hypothetical example to show the the kind of where we go. There is a difference also between just like taking a photo with someone and then also doing like a press event, right? Yeah, so so th that's gonna where, where I stand on that is kind of like um, most of the thinking is around things that are kind of simple. Oh, they're famous, they're important, uh, they have funny memes, there's a meme potential, whatever. And then it's like, um, um, unless, that person does like some unthinkable shit that are really fucking bad. It's like, well, that's just kind of odd because it looks like I'm validating on the fly that person for doing that, right? And it's, it's just bad, right? So sure. I, have to, I have to go against my like my, my code of like, oh, my thinking is usually, this person famous, I'll take a picture, whatever. I have to go against that, which is usually, usually I'm, I'm gonna say how it is, it's a pretty strong feeling most of the time, right? So of course I'm more biased because, oh, this person's like pretty big or whatever. This is memes, or whatever. Boom, done. I have to go against that feeling. But yeah, it's kind of how it is. Does that make sense? I, I understand where you're at. I was just, you know, I guess that like in the future, you, I think you're good at this. Like you're now, you're like, you know, the fucking rich millionaire, XQC, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, like you got to always be asking what's the other person trying to get out of this? Like for every interaction in your life now at the point where you're at, at spe I mean, it sounds like you especially know this, uh, maybe with past wives and whatnot, oh. but, uh, what are they, what are they looking to get in this situation? It's not, you can't just go in there like, Oh, f***ing poggers. It's also like, wait a minute. The f*** is this person? Why are they, why fair are enough. they giving me this gift? You know what? You know, no, fair enough. Um, that it's why I wasn't on stream. Right. It's why I was not yeah. supposed to be on stream. Right. It's why I, I literally said before the stream started, I, 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 I when I sat down, I said, listen, I'm going to be behind the camera. They didn't really get why, uh, uh, like get why, but that was intentional. But that was the whole point mm -hmm. of not like intentionally like doing that, that, you know? Yeah. So then, so then, then, then it comes my last point, which I think is the most important one. Um, now I've kind of lost my train of thought. Um, yeah. So I understand that why he's there, what he's doing, right? But then I don't think, they, I don't think it explains, right? Like, him giving me, giving me a handshake at that point, right? That was just kind of like a, on, like, I don't think there's a lot of thinking behind that, even though they're getting that the same way that uh, if somebody makes a video about Kamala or Trump or whatever, and I watch it, I'm doing pretty much the same thing, right? Like I'm giving you some airtime, that's what they're getting out of it, blah, blah. I get that. I don't, I don't stand for people's politics or whatever, but having it on my stream and, and doing something like that is so, I think, um, slim in how much I do in general in politics, I don't find it to be a problem. But I definitely see though um, how like oh yeah, even though it's on the fly, it's not what they, it's not like what they're in for with me, or whatever. I see how it looks, right? And I guess you could be more cautious with that. 
right? Yeah, that, that, that's all. But just, just I don't like, want to myself did, though. Yeah, well, you don't have to. You could still do meme shit. That's what you're f- known for. Like, make fun of f- Kamala. Make fun of Biden. Make fun of Trump. Uh, like, that's all legit. Just don't be like, es- unless you support Trump, which is your right. I don't, you know, I don't give a shit. I don't think you do. But if you did, uh, or sorry, if you didn't, don't support Trump if you don't support him. If you do, you can. That's fine. And uh, no one's going to stop you from doing that. Just know, like, as I said, that wasn't like uh, an accident or like, oh, hey, this is a meme. Like, Trump's there. Like, this was set up so that Trump could get more votes. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's not, hey, listen, we all know your audience is uh, not. Yeah, voting, so. uh, my thinking is almost intentionally branded um, to kind of protect the kind of like fun and freedom that I get when I go outside. It's why like uh, I, was, I was at the f- game. Um, I was at the uh, the Copa, the Copa fucking like, America Cup soccer game. Mm-hmm. I invited this but he didn't want to go. So, I mean, I had seats that, are, that were insane. He could have won for free. F- Boring football games, but I love you. All right. All right. So I got to stand um, a few meters from Messi. It's something that your viewers would give both their nuts for. Okay. I and don't think you. Would, we don't even know. We don't even know what poverty game that guy plays for. Is it the poverty ball where you kick it or where you throw it? Which one? It's the poverty ball where uh, the guy that plays it, why that was next next to me, could literally buy out your entire family tree, right? Uh-huh. And your tree's tree and your entire country's tree, right? And turn it into his like his ping pong. It's, room, it's like probably because movie. like the uh, entire GDPR of like whatever poverty country he's from goes to this one guy because he's like oh yeah that guy he and sure more. can kick the f-ing ball yeah no we don't, we don't know shit about sports we do know about well i was gonna say we know about esports we really don't know about that either. all right so honestly my, we really my, don't my know point about was, much was, i went to get some f-ing food okay i went to get some pizza and um jordan belford uh pulls up next right next to me right and i'm like oh holy shit man yo can we get can we snap a picture right i take a picture with him right Jordan Belfort is uh, the guy from Wolf of Wall Street. You know that guy? Is the subject yep. of the movie is Jordan Belfort, Wolf of Wall Street guy, right? That's yep. the that's the Quaaludes guy. That's the fraud guy. Yeah, it's that's, like it's like a bad guy. I, I or the fuck guy. Get the, it's like a bad guy, but now they're like, is it that bad to be with it? Like, where do you where do you draw the line? Like, can I have my can I like hang out with this guy or is it bad? Like, another good example of a modern dude like that is like Martin Shkreli, right? Like, is it okay to like? be cool and be friends and be nice to this type of dude like yeah but not really is, before, you yeah, know? yeah but, but i see, see i wouldn't give a f- about much because i think that the, um uh, i mean I'm, I'm being unbiased i i there's no appeal to the guy i don't i don't think he's likable or like funny or like um the picture wouldn't even be worth it it's like there's no value right mm-hmm. i guess if you had some other even though he did some crimes or and he got went to jail for him i'm pretty sure uh, allegedly i guess um, not allegedly, he was convicted. He went to prison, yeah, federal well, prison. Yeah, and I, and I used Harvey Weinstein as an example. Would you hang out with Kevin Spacey for a few hours? Um, I well, these are kind of like gotcha questions, right? I'm, so not, if, I'm not, I'm not trying to. No, I'm no, just no, saying, no, no. All, so all I, this I, comes I wanna, down to is like, is it more? How what percent of the people think this dude is probably not very poggers, right? And see, if see, yeah. I, I have a uh, curiosity and interest in things that is kind of like unexplainable sometimes, right? Sometimes like. I'll be interested in and want to know about something and want to ask questions to a certain person or body. You know, this person is generally seen as doing like horrendous things, or whatever, right? I think there's there's some things that I want to know, right? That I would want to uh, uh, know about uh, about somebody, right? That's kind of like interesting, but sometimes it's kind of hard to achieve that without being damaging. And it's a line that I that I haven't really found or uh, have to think about too often because that doesn't happen often, you know? That I'm not. I don't think I'm being obtuse. It's just it's that's hard. Yeah, no, it so is. Like, it, it is hard. I I agree. For what it's worth, I feel like uh, if I could hang out with Kevin Spacey for like an hour or something, like it would probably be like it's not a good look. Like uh, even though he was found innocent or whatever in his trial, it, there's it's memeable enough. It's not like crazy shit. But I don't know if I would do the same for like other people. Right, like I, so I understand agree. where you're coming. You got it. You have to like weigh it in your mind of where where it's at and like what are they getting out of it. But anyways, that's no, that yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, of course, if it, if it was publicized and he's trying to use my platform, whatever, to say that that oh yeah, but this never been like that and the media as well. Yeah, that shit. That's just I, I'd never do that shit. It doesn't no, make sense. Are you uh, are you gonna be here on election night? It's kind of a big deal. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. Yeah. All right. Good. We're um. Well, I don't want to say too much, but it's uh, it's going to be 
insane in the studio that we have here, the people we have coming and whatnot. It's going to be, uh, you remember last uh, election night? It was pretty wild. It's going to be that, but more wild. So It was it was pretty wild. It all, it all depends if, um, if, if a son invites me. If a son invites me, that, that changes the whole fucking ordeal. If it might be his show, then it's a whole different volume. All right, but, well, just, just know that if that happens and you go there, that uh, there's going to be like a civil war, okay? Because you belong to DGG way more than you belong to that community. So, just, yeah, but DGG you know. was really mad at, at, at the picture I took with, uh, uh, with the president. We're not mad. We were just disappointed. And also, Destiny swept for you, and he said that it was no big deal. So, it's fine. Uh, I did not. I said I did have a strong opinion, because I don't think he's a political commentator, so I don't care that much. Even though I probably shouldn't do it, it's not that big of a deal to me. I don't care. Okay. See, he was keeping the relationship open. He thought that he had to be not critical of you to stay friends with you. But you didn't know that X is able to take it as well as he gives it. Isn't mm. that right, X? Yeah. Yeah, also, uh, we, we also hung out with him for quite a while after stream it. And listen, 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 I'm not glazing anything, but I gotta say, I gotta say, um, I've never seen anybody that's on his A game uh, like that, ever. That That is like insane. It's kind of almost intimidating to see it. This is what people call, you know people used to say aura, but they don't know what they're talking about, right? Because everybody uses messages the word. That's like, um, like aura shit. And I, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just saying, like being on the A game like that, being good with people, and like that's something that, I, that I, I'm not accustomed to. And it was kind of like, even though I'm sure most doesn't have that, or all of them, or all uh, pretty candidates have that, right? It's something that it's something I thought was interesting enough, even if just that, to uh, to show up and actually fucking take a day off to, to do that day. But yeah, this was this. Um, right. um, have, have you ever seen that in, in real life? Like met somebody who like goes into a room and owns that room whatever uh that's me i think steve would say that's him but it's not him yeah um right so when i went to the podcast i didn't want to say anything about it but when i got there and i saw you my balls went inside my body and they've just gone because back you out. because you it's been a couple days it's been immediately a couple days. I'm trying to turn into it. a woman you're like oh my god this guy is so alpha that i'm turning into a woman right now because i want him to me that much i i have that impression on men that are just not as alpha and sigma as i am but i you don't you shouldn't say that out loud you need to keep those things to yourself when you say yeah. that yeah yeah i did some tmi my bad brother it's okay don't worry about um, it um yo desney what about the uk riots what do you think about that any Wait, comments okay well now you guys let me use the restroom real quick and then we can try about that hold on one sec what's going on in the uk what are they rioting about uh um um, well, I, I don't want to resume the story too quickly because right, it's one of the things that's kind of complicated. So, um, okay, I'll say how it is. It's fucking um, dental care. Dental care is really bad. People on TV are looking like they're fucking from the cave ages. What the fuck is the problem with that? So is this shit about immigration? Mostly about teeth, but a little bit about immigration. So, oh, yeah, we're going to talk about that. Sure, we'll switch topics. Yeah, there is some riots in the, uh, uh, the UK, whatever. Um, you know, you have this impressive ability. Not that I'm like really that good at having a memory or following a conversation. I have no fucking idea what you're saying right now. It was like so impressive. But um, if I make, if I make, hey, if I confuse you enough, but you're confused and you can trip, right? I get an advantage still while the, the audience that knows me understands what I'm saying. Okay. So now I'm winning the optics battle because you don't even know what you're fighting. I'm like a ghost fighter. You don't even know what's happening and you're still losing it. That's that's I, that's what I do. I it's true. I am I am punching ghosts right now. I don't even know where I am. Yeah, it's I'm dog I'm dog whistling, and you cannot say anything against it because it always makes you look like you're ableist. Because I have like a speech impediment, so you're just being weird now. Am I, am I dog whistling or do I have any speech impediment? Is there what is it? Is there a slur against um, people from Quebec? Nope. Really? Nope. None. Not a single one has been made. Only Canadians can use it. It's like Frenchy or whatever, right? Because they're the only French part of Canada. So only Canadians have a slur against us, which is like Frenchy. Jesus. That's, that's, that's not about even, it. That's, that's what they have? Frenchy? That's about Sorry. it. Yeah. Oh um, the, so I think um, people were... Basically, some a brown guy stabbed a brown kid, a brown 17-year-old, stabbed some people, some little kids at a stand, dance studio, and then... A whole bunch of right-wing people capitalized on that. Some fake news spread on X, and people were trying to say that it was like a Muslim immigrant. So people started like attacking basically some mosque. Um, and then more information came out, and they found out that he wasn't a 
he wasn't an immigrant. He was born in the UK. His parents were immigrants and he wasn't a Muslim. He was Christian, but people were saying that the riots were continuing on because there was a general displeasure in the UK about mass migration from Muslims or non-English people. And so people were just about, kind of been protesting and rioting, I think, about that in general, like broadly. That's like the most macro overview. I think interesting about that, right, is that um, when the... I don't, know how, I don't know how the UK laws are, but I'm pretty sure in the United States at least... If somebody commits a crime and they're underage, right? I don't think they release the 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 person's uh, identity to the public. Correct. Right? That's and why they, misinformation was able to spread so quickly about it. And it exactly. Took Wait, is that down. that's not true in the United States? They it is true. It is most. I states. feel like there's definite. Oh, I mean, it could be by state, sure. But I feel like there's plenty of times when you know when a minor has committed a crime and their name's listed. I feel like that's actually probably more often than not. I don't even know. If any uh, states have a rule saying that that the be the things case. are leaked and confirmed in the background, or whatever, and then they go they go off of it, and it, I don't think it's the the police won't do it, right? But I think the media will do it. It's why it kind of looks or seems that way, even though it's not. But maybe I'm wrong about this. Inter- interesting. I think the media can uh, parade uh, um, leaks, or whatever, and say whatever, but I don't think that the um, uh, the police can. Um, I'm going to find out right now. Chat, am I right or wrong? Uh, It's probably by state. Um... Can somebody find me what time people started chanting this? I would love somebody to find me this. What time in the evening? Um, but yeah, that's the... Are the rides still going on in the UK, or...? Yeah, so these people are wrong, right? The people that are like, uh, um, saying, oh, blah, blah, like, uh, like, uh, like uh, of course they're wrong, right? They're wrong about what? Well, the, 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 uh, oh, yeah, because this person is this, uh, well, they just, um, they're just generally people that want to see less, uh, immigration from certain countries in general. Like, that's what they're protesting. This is just kind of like the inciting moment for it. But isn't, isn't that immigration, uh, like illegal? Isn't that like fine? Well, yeah, but they want to make it not legal. That's the issue. Uh, what do you think about that? Yeah, what do you think about that? Yeah, what do you um, think about that, homie? I mean, I personally, I think it's dumb. But, I mean, I think that there are issues across Europe sometimes maybe with how honest maybe some people are being about immigration from certain countries. But I think that people on the far right, like, capitalize on that and overhype the f- of how bad it is oftentimes um you get people like tim pool who will make videos like lying about you know how rough or horrible a certain city is and i think that there's like sometimes you get like just kind of a general economic anxiety or unrest and immigrants are just have always like historically been the easiest people to blame for everything so all right fair enough damn yo what do you think what do you think about this um this other guy this lexify guy the guy that leaked the cheating scandal which one did he leak was that about the cheating Fuzli? scandal? Yeah, the guy we initially made the leak. Yeah. Oh, I I don't know. I didn't follow any of it. I just got irritated with Ray talking shit about. <laughs> what is what is the cliff notes of that, Steve? That whole thing. I literally have no idea. I don't like, know. Did they cheat on each other? Or, I have. Like, I it, literally have no idea. You have no, no idea at all. I have, but I don't know who cheated on who or who. Or, uh, or yeah, exactly. I have no idea. Abusive ex girlfriend is like milking him for like money and extortion, doing a bunch of shit allegedly, whatever. And then she's also trying to label him as like some uh, a weirdo. So he's like defending, he's defending himself against the, these uh, weirdo allegations, right? By firing back at her, saying that she's the weirdo. But um, in in all in all, I think that they're uh, both weird. Her more, but he's also still weird. But he has he has to self expose and expose her. So I think it's just odd. Also, the self expose message in his shit is our fucking cringe. Oh, we read all the messages. Oh, I didn't believe those messages. That looked like two people that were role playing, like a fin dom, like humiliation fetish thing. Like I almost that, thought they that's it. what it. That's what it looked like to me. But it yeah. seems like it's real, yikes. even past the fin dom thing. Okay, that's a yikes. That's a mega yikes, isn't it? Well, I mean, if that's listen. If that's how they get off, then knock yourselves out. But I thought that we well, were I mean, part of like the fetish. With the fact that those messages went public, made it look like it was like some huge fucking fetish play or something. But. I mean, some things like, uh, oh, I love him. I will be with him. No, I love you more. Be with me. Like, that's not, that's just cringe. Like, sure, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right thing. Yeah, that's just some, that's, that's some ha shit. All right, that's about it. I had other shit, but I forgot, so whatever, man. Okay. Um, I, I'm always curious about your, your drama takes, because, um, 
Oh, what about the Beast stuffer? Oh, Mr. Beast? Yeah. I haven't kept up with any drama shit. I don't even know. What is he actually getting f***ed or? No. But people are trying to like, uh, mole grandstand it. And, uh... Like, oh my god, I can't believe it's he did this and he must atone to this or whatever. When mm -hmm. it's like, somebody actually gives a f out, they just shit. Yeah, like just, the lottery stuff and the other employee leaking I have no idea if it's like actually, if it's a big deal or not. I just, I have no idea, yeah. Oh, I looked at a, a video about it, about Legal Eagle. Mm -hmm. Um, he says that, um, some of the stuff, like lottery shit, could be, uh, um, illegal, but he seems like he, he's learned now and, uh, has different ways. Uh, which is pretty much what I call atoning, but whatever. And then some of the other stuff is just not flat out not illegal, even though people uh, label it to be illegal, it's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have no idea. And everybody's probably done illegal shit in terms of lotteries, like historically, like on streams and shit. Like basically every single giveaway on Twitch. Yeah, and out, out of ignorance or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like. Um, oh, yeah, what about the boxer? Give me your, 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 your take. Boom. About, um, about the boxer thing. It seems to me that the this is a I'm giving you slightly opinionated, but mostly like it's all fact based. I think that I think that Russia was probably just really mad that she smoked the Russian boxer in like the quarterfinals, I think, of um, a 2023 IBA boxing event. And after that happened, they ended up disqualifying her, saying that she had like some competitive advantage against women. Um, the IBA citation to that was that they had done two different tests, one in 2022 and one in 2023. The statements that they put out officially about that, they said officially that they didn't test her testosterone. And then they said that they didn't, they can't disclose what the other test was. And that's it. Nobody has, there hasn't been any official published statements by the IBA saying, you know, that they had tested chromosomes or anything else. Um, they did do like a, like a speech or not a speech, a press conference, I think like five days ago. But like in there, they were saying the reason when they tested her in 2022, the test wasn't conclusive enough to say that she was a man. So they had to wait a year later to test her again, which doesn't make any sense to me. I, I don't know. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know. That, like as of right now, there is absolutely no evidence that this fighter is intersex or trans whatsoever. There's absolutely no evidence. Um, just a few weird statements by the Kremlev guy, who's the Russian dude who's like the head of the IBA, which hasn't been recognized uh by the IOC, the Olympic Committee, for a year, and they're, um, they had been suspended like four or five years ago in 2019, I think. So, yeah, I don't know. I, it seems like a big conservative are just mad because they have literally nothing to talk about except for trans people and girl, I guess. All right, fair enough. People just, hold on real quick, because people in your chat are saying XY is enough evidence. There is no evidence whatsoever. I have not seen anything ever about um, her having XY chromosomes. No IBA official statement has ever been released about that. Um, Kremlev made one weird statement on Russian media. Um, no, actually, he didn't even. He posted something on his Telegram about this, I think, like a year ago. But the IBA has never made an official statement about this anywhere ever. Like, never. There was just no evidence of it. Even even if it doesn't like that, isn't that called a something sexual or whatever? What is it called? I forgot. Some, what? It's, what is it called if you're a, a woman and you have XY or whatever? There's something called Swear Syndrome. Intersex. Intersex. Well, the intersex is a is a very broad, vague category. Intersex can mean a whole bunch of different things. It just depends. I think if you're an XY woman, I think that's called Swear Syndrome always, I think. And would that be would that be a, a, a competitive advantage or whatever? No. Uh, I don't actually know. This is a really rare genetic uh, abnormality or chromosomal chromosomal abnormality. I don't know if they have like elevated production of testosterone or not. But even the XY uh, gonadal dysgenesis, even that I think has like a spectrum of how wide the gamut can run on how much people are impacted. I'm just I'm not sure. Mm, do you think that there should be a, uh, a, a standardized um, test done to everybody to make it to make it clear to everybody that uh, just to make the sport more safe because it's a it's a it's a contact sport right and people can suffer like a lot of damage. Do you think it'd be uh, on the safer side to just say everybody is standardized test whatever make sure nobody gets hurt or not? Um, I mean, if the, if hormone testing like covers enough, then I think that's probably fine. If they want to add a genetic XY test or XX test, I, that's probably fine. I don't want to. I don't really care one way or another, but. What type of advantages do you get being an XY chromosome woman? I don't know. That's it's like I said, it's a one, it's a really, really rare syndrome. And I, I think that even in that syndrome, you could run the gamut of developmental defects. Um, I, yeah, I don't even know how studied this is in terms of like athletic mm. competitive advantage. I have no idea. All right. Well, that's what it is. All right. Um, uh, that's about all the topics I got the other day.
I got all your dicks. I think I mostly agree with all your shit, so that's what it is. Okay. I love you. Be careful. Too easy. See ya. Leave it to bite. Bye. Bye.